what's up everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. I hope that you are doing fabulous, darling. I am doing well. I'm doing better. I'm not 100% with my neck and my back strain, but I'm doing better than I was a couple days ago, okay? Thank you guys so much for all your concern, all your love. I really do appreciate it. But honey, I can't be laying down. I can't be sitting around. I got to get up. I got to get out. I got to do something. Goody Mob. Was that Goody Mob? No, that was Outcast featuring Goody Mob. Yes. Anyway, please be sure to like this video. Use that little thumbs up. I would really appreciate it if you just, just go ahead and click the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. It is free 99. Make sure to check out my website. I've been posting over there. So get into it. And if you have missed any of my reviews for this season of Love and Hip Hop, you can click over there. I still... Yeah, I, can I touch it? Can I touch it? No, uh-uh. Just click right over there. It'll take you to the playlist. And also, if you want to fast forward to the review and miss out on this cute little giveaway, go ahead and look at the little annotation, okay? I do have a snack of the video. I know I've been going between snacks of the video and the app of the video, but a lot of y'all like Miss B. We missing the snacks of the video. So the snack of the video is from Cliff Bar. Y'all know Cliff Bar. They sent me a big old box of goodies, and I'm really appreciative of that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. And y'all know Cliff Bar. Cliff Bar is everywhere. Walmart, Target, the nutrition stores, uh, Kmart, if anybody go there, no shade. But they are everywhere. And you have probably had a Cliff Bar. Y'all know I am addicted to their protein bar. I had a chance to try out the spice pumpkin pie. It was so good. And y'all know my ultimate favorite is that blueberry crisp. And also they have um, carrot cake. And that one is really, really good. I was addicted to the carrot cake Luna Bar. But I don't think they have those anymore. So they moved it over to the regular Cliff Bar. So I'm... I'm I'm going to give y'all a little pass, Cliff Bar, but that was my favorite. I am going to have a giveaway, so if any of these that I list to you and you like, what? Are you serious? Oh, that sound good. Put it down below. Knowing me, I'll probably send like three or four bars in a package and send it out to you. That's that's probably how I'm going to do this. But either way, um, here are some that I've tried. I recently tried the chocolate dip coconut, and this one isn't heavy with coconut because y'all know I don't think I'm supposed to have it, but I ate it anyway. But this one is super, super good. This is one of my new favorites. It's the fruit and nut, the cranberry almond. It is so good. They sent me a lot of their mojo bars. This is the coconut almond peanuts. Luna bars. They have chocolate cupcake. Oh, that's probably good. A Luna protein. This is chocolate cherry almond. The lemon vanilla. The chocolate peanut butter. That's another protein ball. The mint chocolate chip. The chocolate chip cookie dough. I bet that one is really good. Another mojo bar is the dark chocolate almond coconut. S'mores, the Luna bar. Peanut butter cookies. Lemon zest. Caramel nut brownie is pretty tasty. And this chocolate coconut almond. They're great for snacking and they're also great for like before the gym, after the gym. Cliff bars are awesome and I appreciate them sending them out to me. And y'all know I've been eating Cliff bars forever. So yes, honey, that was a snack of the video. So let's go ahead and get into this review, honey. Baby Cory is now into the world. Yeah, yeah. And surprisingly, I think I do a good baby cry. Yeah. I don't know where that came from. But either way, surprisingly, Peter is cooking for Amina. And I'm just shocked that he is there. After the niceties, and oh my God, Peter, you're cooking for me. He's like, yeah, um, the reason why I'm doing that is I got to... I gotta come clean, and then we'll really be good to go. The trip to Barbados uptown, baby. Uptown was really with Tara and the boys. Of course she was pissed. If your dude is with a chick on a trip, of course you will be upset. She took it a lot better than I expected, huh? She was like, you're a liar. It's too late. Uh, I'm gonna go check on Corey. <laughs> I really thought she was gonna give me that Angela Bassett that I needed. You a liar, and you a cheat was like, I ain't going nowhere. I'm right here. I got my new family now. I ain't got nobody else, so I'm going to be right here, SWV. Right here. Be right here. You want some broccoli? You know what, dude, um, Peter, he really has some issues. Like, seriously, though. He really has some issues. I, child, prayer circle for the Guns family. Rich Slobbers, he's at his mama and him house, and he invites over Precious Paris. Honey, who comes up with these stage names, honey? And Sin is coming over because they're trying to figure out, you know, this record. She also has the taste of new 79 gold, you know what I'm saying? To see if she want to be the face. The face. Of course, she was like, okay, this is good. I'll be the fa I like this. And he was like, yeah, yeah. So Precious comes over and they start talking about the project and she was like, why do you want to do this? Any loss is tough. Suicide 
Pride is tough. Murder is tough. Honey, cancer is tough. Any loss is tough. Honey, if somebody just passed away and they sleep, it's tough. Loss is tough no matter what. Andy has her hair and that belly and toe like she just left Bible study. She will get that of that car. I said, yes, something has made Yandy very upset. Some stuff is going down with little parentheses, mama. Big parentheses, he just is calm. Making a sandwich like, bruh, man, he like, yo, you need to calm down. You need to sit down so that we can really talk about this because I can't talk to you and spread my mayonnaise. Like, I can't do both at the same time. Yandy, sit down, Yandy. Yandy, he doesn't speak to his baby mama like that. And she wants him back. She wants to spend more time with him. And he doesn't see it. He like, the last time we talked, I hung up on her. And I'm like, um, who handles parent? Who who does that? I don't have any kids. Never had any. I ain't got no baby four of us. I, have, I don't have any of that. So I can't imagine what you have to go through. He was like, yo, if you want to talk to her and be the mediator, I'm like, wait, she's pregnant with your new baby. She ain't got time to be doing all that. She's like, yo, man, DC, if you want to, if you want me to do that, I'll do it. And I'm like, you girl, mm, child, we're going to have a prayer circle for the men DCs. We don't know the last name. I don't know their last name. We're going to just pray for them. Yandy meets with Samantha, the baby mother. And I'm sitting here like, oh my God, are they homies? Like she did not. I wasn't even thinking that was the baby mama. I really didn't. I thought this was a new client. Honey, I, maybe it was just me. I was like, oh my God. Oh. Samantha is saying there's no communication on parentheses side. She texts him, he don't answer, she call, he don't pick up. Now she wants to bring in some custody stuff and Yandy is like, yo, we don't have to do all of that. If y'all could just sit down like adults and start talking and figuring out what you're gonna do, you can't just be popping in, boo-boo. And I'm like, I so agree. Be adults, sit down, and just have a schedule. Oh, it's time for the liquor launch. And Rashida Bita, she went from being Ronald McDonald last season to Iyanla this season, fixing lives. I'm like, oh, you better have a full circle. Of course, Sin and Erica are there. I have to say Erica's name like that. Erica. I knew the shat was going to hit the fan because Erica was feeling some type of way about this new campaign that's going on between Sin and Rich Slobbers. Honey, I'd be a little pissed too. I wouldn't have went though. I'd have been like, no, I'ma just let them have that. She she put that on herself. He's talking super loud to Rich. Talking about now you want to fuck my ex and also eat the pie too? And I'm like, yeah, you super mad. Like you for real, for real mad. Next thing you know, girl, gets on the mic acting even more extra as usual. I'm like, yeah, something is really wrong with our cup. I have to say, good job to Sin for not getting all up in her face and being real extra. This was her, <laughs> her night. And good job to Rich too. They weren't being extra. Erica was really making an ass out of herself by herself. Rich Slobbers, he meets with Chink Santana so that he can have like a real grown man conversation because ever since Minna, she, she crashed my party and I, I can't be talking to these young girls. I'm like, sir, you the one who wanted her next also rich slobbers um no more bottom fronts you're a little too old for that i i don't let's not he asked chink what's going on with chrissy and he was like yo she keep pressing me son she pressing me she keep pressing me about this baby you know what i mean she off that birth control i don't know what to do with it she keep pressing me about a fetus you know what i'm saying a fetus she could tell me everything about my life my time subway sandwiches jimmy john's chipotle but she can't tell me if she off that pill i'm like whoa chink goes from zero to a thousand in five seconds and you gotta really look Listen, to figure out what he's saying. He was like, man, I'ma talk to her like an adult. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna be no foul nigga on that. I'ma talk to her. Are we supposed to clap for you, Chink? I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. Parentheses, he's talking to the cheering so that he can stay out of jail. Cough, cough, that community service. But anyway, it, it looked good. I was like, oh, look at him talking to the kids. And Yandy comes over and she's like, hey, I talked with Samantha. And y'all really need to talk so that y'all can figure out what's going on with little Mendeces because honey, I am carrying the new Bambino. I can't be worried about everything else. And he's sitting here like, yo, she say something out of the way. I'm seriously, I'm going I'm to get out of there. And I'm like, yo, sir, you have a walk away spirit. You cannot do that. Sin and Paris meet up at the nail salon so that they can talk about what happened at that crazy liquor launch. Everything is still foggy with her at our car and there's no closure. I want that lip color that Sin had on. I loved it. I said, yes, girl, I love that. Give me that Vampire Diaries. You better give me that True Blood lip. I love it. Amina, she wants to meet with Tara about the infamous Barbados trip because, you know, I just don't trust Peter. Right now, I, I can't trust him, so I need to talk to Tara. Tara, she already comes there combative. She's like, yo, you knew what was up, homie. 
You knew, I'm sorry, let me do it in Tara voice. You knew what was going on. You knew what happened when you were coming into this. Sidebar, he lied to both of y'all. Y'all don't see that? Y'all arguing over the same dude, sleeping with the same dude. I don't understand. I, I don't get it. He's lying to both of you. Why y'all still? Mm. I remember that Tony Braxton, um, who knew thing I am? What was that song? He wasn't man enough? Was that he wasn't man enough? But yeah, that was he wasn't man enough. Y'all remember at the end when Robin Givens, she saw on that little uh, computer thing, Harry still wanted Tony back. It's the same thing. You gotta be plotting against him so he ain't got either one of y'all. Next, Tara, she's getting extra defensive. And I'm like, girl, hush. This is really a pattern that Peter plays. Like, he played that with the girl before Tara. And Amina was like, checkmate, sweetie, I know you're dirt. You were doing the same thing. And she was like, how dare you bring up my past when we're talking about you? No, sweetie, we're talking about you as well. We're trying to get down to what is going on with Peter and how we can stop this, honey. Tara, pick up your face off the flow, girl. She done broke that shit. Pick it up off the flow. Amina is like, are y'all done? And she's like, well, based on his actions, um, uh, uh, no. At the end, they both looking at each other like, yeah, damn. Chrissy in this long, unbrushed wig, honey. Y'all know I hate talking about hair. It was that Nene rat puppy wig and also this long one that I just cannot do. But either way, she comes in to talk to Chink and she really wants to apologize about getting off the pill and not telling him but at the same time she's really hurt so it doesn't come across like that you have wanted to apologize to somebody but you still mad and upset so it don't come off like you wanted to Ugh. starts going off and talk about frequencies and tones and she like you know what this is why i can't talk to you in the first place and i was like let the arguing officially commence he was like you sitting here acting like you right and you dead ass motherfucker wrong and i'm like whoa okay uh uh, the honey the candle is out honey y'all ain't got no more matches they both want what they can't have from each other it out of the blue she was like you know what chink i don't deserve this i deserve better than this honey i gotta go god bless he was like bye bitch deuces so i'm sitting here like is that it that's all like for real y'all are done like finished okay parentheses and samantha they meet up and they are so tit for titty i'm like jesus can we just talk about the little boy see next week that drink's gonna be flying and oh we mm, mm, we just gonna keep praying for the little mendices family sin and erica finally talk sin was like why can't i go my way and you go yours and erica was like well you can but you need to leave me and everybody that i know as well now at one point i was like you know what erica you are right about that but on the other side i'm like yo the circle is so small and y'all intermingle with so many of the same people that it's kind of tough you know to do that baby girl why did it have to be rich slobbers that you wanted to collaborate with honey it could be for charity girl scouts the chocolate foundation kittycats.org but if it's affiliated with rich slobbers I, we're just not gonna understand it. I don't. Before it escalated, Erica did something that I didn't even think she would do. She apologized to Sin. She was like, look, I'm sorry that I put my hands on you because I really, really loved you and I should not have done that. I will always love you. I felt like the nippy was gonna play at the end. If I should stay, honey, I will only be in your way. I said, oh, come on, Erica. You better tell Sin. You better profess your love and tell her, honey. And I, 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 I gotta go though. And then she moved her fitted around and she walked off. And Sid was even like, oh my God, Erica. But you can tell they just can't be together. It's just too much. I was all for love and hip hop. Black Ink is back early because Sorority Sisters got the axe. I love Black Ink. All I have to say about this episode of Black Ink was, oh shit, really had drugs on him. Like, oh shit, really don't give a shit. I'm like, sir, you have a baby on the way. You have a promising career as a tattoo artist. You just gonna throw all of that away? You got kids? I, I didn't understand it. I was just like, sir, next. Sky is just as crazy. I love me some Sky. I love her personality. She just really does not care. <laughs> I love that about her. This season is gonna be something else. But if you are a fan of Black Ink, let me know down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Love and Hip Hop. And honey, yes, I have me some shout outs. I gotta look on my screen for this one. Big old shout out to Adiva for Life. DD4L. I, I don't know. I 
I just had to say that. Uh, Rashawn2011, Dina Shell Watts, I hope I say your name right, Jazzy V, J Brow214, South Carolina Travel RN, NN Wilson2011, Michaela Simon, Tink Edwards, Love Compassionately, honey, y'all know I did the Katie, Katie baby, Katie baby. They gave the whole monologue in their comment. I appreciate it and I love you for that. Jamelia, Jamalia Wiley from Barbados. Oh, na na. What is she name? And Rihanna from Barbados. I hope, I, never mind, honey. I hope to come to Barbados very, very soon and very soon. Uh, Amanda Moore, daughter of the Nile, and Shantina says, I love you, Babuski. I love her video. She is freaking hilarious. I love me some her. So, if you would like a shout out on the next video, let's talk about these shows down below and also get it in on the giveaway for the Cliff Bars. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless.